let's transition slowly into uh, any any last uh, uh, information do you want to give in regards to holistic living zoe um i think well uh oh my god i mean that's just another day's podcast isn't it but i think <laughs> um there is very, the, you have to think about the balance of your body and i think what happens in medicine, in what I'd call conventional medicine, so Western medicine, what we practice in America and the UK, is very much mm, symptom-based. So you, you you rock up at your doctor's surgery with a problem like, I don't know, indigestion, and what they'll do is they'll give you a tablet to help your indigestion rather than find out why you've got the indigestion in the first place. So that's why I think like conventional medicine is amazing. Like it saved my life because I had chemotherapy and radiotherapy and it did definitely save my life. But I think as a, as a nurse, which what frustrates me most and what actually gives me most burnout in my job is this constant battle all the time of having to just treat the symptom rather than unraveling it all and trying to figure out what the cause is. No and I think we can, we can learn a lot. I mean, I don't, I don't know much about Chinese medicine, but I know a little bit. And that's what they do in Chinese medicine. They they go back and figure out what the cause is and then treat the cause. And so nutrition is definitely a big part of it. And it's something that I've become really, really interested in. And as I say, the, the company I partner with, which is a health and wellness company, again, it's a product-based company. I learned about, you know, the ingredients that we have in our skincare and our, and our makeup that we're putting on our bodies every day. And, you know, it takes 26 seconds for your body to absorb something. So uh, can you imagine what if you're using that stuff every day? So there's a really good documentary called Toxic Beauty, which I think is on um, iTunes and Apple, whatever. Uh, it might be on Netflix Toxic now, Beauty. but it wasn't before. And it's all about, you know, doing blood tests on these women that are using, you know, mainstream cosmetics. And it really messes with your endocrine system. And I think it's no, it's no, um, it's no, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Uh, anyway, it's it's not a surprise that cancer rates are going up and, and infertility is rising because I think it's about the lifestyles that we lead and you have to oh yeah, you see David's watched it. It's a great it's a great documentary. Yeah, it is, it's really good. It's very good. Um, so it's really interesting. But I think, you know, it's not a surprise to me that cancer diagnoses are going up. I mean, we are getting better at diagnosing it, of course. We're gonna find more of it and people are gonna go people are living longer so we're going to find it much easier but um you know in the uk now it's one in two i don't know what it is in america it used to be one in three now it's got up to one in two now that's not you know random that's because our lifestyles wow. are just great that's is it almost a 35 percent increase mm. wow wow david is saying modern medicine treats the symptoms not the cause right oh, where's Which he written means... out? i've seen that uh, i highlighted on the screen Oh, yeah, there you go. That's exactly yes. what I was saying, yeah. Interesting. Modern medicine treats the symptoms, not the cause, which means you're never going to get to the origin of the cause, which means you're only going to keep on getting the problem over and over. Wow. That's uh, that's not solution. 